Hey Gary, I uh, just wanted to I wish you a happy birthday. I love you, man. Hey Gary, it's Millie. Um, I am responding to your question about the day you were born. And yes, I do remember it because I was like eight when it happened. And I was so excited for a new baby. I mean, come on, there hadn't been, you know, babies when you're a little girl, babies. So it was also the very first night that I ever got to stay up all night. So this was like a really big deal for me, okay? When your mom went into labor, we all, and I mean like, you know, grandpa, my mom, Mary, grandma, um, I think even like Rodney or Hank or Hank and Ardith. And so we're there in the waiting rooms. So it was a big family affair. I mean, probably Karen and some of her family. It was a big deal. And so family came in and we waited in the waiting room um, for a long, long time. Um, or what it seemed, you know, to an eight-year-old. I do know that grandma was in the delivery room when you were born. That um, photos were taken, though I think they have since been burned. Um, probably for the best. Um, oh, grandma was in the delivery room with you. She was a nurse, and so she could handle herself. And so your mom and dad let her in the delivery room. And so she was there when you were born. She actually saw you were born. And of course, you know, she was so proud and excited. It was the first grandchild um, that she'd ever been allowed in the birthing room because um, my mom's two pregnancies, they um, ended with cesarean sections. And then I don't know about your sisters, but this was the first time that she was in a delivery room. So she was very excited. And I think she always had like a little soft spot for you because of that. Um, I know she was really worried about your mom after because um, you were born and everyone she would tell the story occasionally that you were born, everyone was fussing over you. It's a boy, it's a boy. And your dad was like, through the roof, he finally had a son. And um, and grandma said all she could do is just watch your mom because she went white as a sheet. And um, grandma was terrified that something was wrong or there was gonna be a complication with the mother. And she was trying to get you know the doctors and nurses attention back on the, uh, the mama in the bed she wasn't looking so good but um I guess it was a, a tougher of a delivery but you came out just fine um big beautiful baby boy and um everyone was just so fucking happy and excited my god um I remember there being actual cigars I think it was Rodney or Hank or somebody you know had he like patted his chest you know real solemnly you know for for when he comes and, and so uh, they busted out cigars, like outside the, the waiting room, grandpa too, of course, they were, everyone was just over the moon. Just so excited that you were born, you were here, you were, like I said, a big, beautiful, healthy baby boy. And um, yeah, it was just joy, just like any birth is. And I was glad that I played a small part. I don't think I even saw you that night. Um, you know, it's not really a, a fun time for, of children and extended family and and cousins and aunts and uncles and stuff it's really more of a a private family affair so I don't think I even got to see you but um I was there in the waiting room <laughs> waiting watching these grown-ups act like fools and bet on the times and the just everything um but yeah so I hope that helps um I just remember everyone being so happy that you were here and that everything went well so happy birthday, brother. I love you. Happy birthday, Gary. Today's your special day. Been thinking about you all day. You take care of yourself. Bye-bye. Hi, Gary. I remember very well when you were born. It was amazing because when your mom told us that we, uh, she was in labor, all of us went to the hospital and my mom got to see you be born, which she said was like the greatest honor she's ever been given. And she said she just didn't know how Kathy was still alive because it was a lot. And seeing it from an observer's viewpoint, she didn't realize how difficult it is when people have birth. All of us were there. We all laid on couches, 
slept if we could, but we couldn't sleep, of course. But it was a great day. And then I remember when the moment you were born, your dad ran out of the doors and they had double wide doors that flew open. And he said, it's a, and then he stopped and said a boy. And so we all just, ah, and that is the day you were born. Hi, Gary. I wanted to wish you a happy birthday. I don't have a birth story for you. Obviously I wasn't there, missed it by just a couple years, but happy birthday.